I hope you're all well. I know the lighting isn't super ideal at the moment, but I had to film during the day because I've got to get this video up today. This twice a week thing is already kicking my absolute ass. But anyway, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about sort of what it's like to go viral. Just over a year ago, I had a video go viral. It has, I think, nearly 2 million views now. The video was called These Instagram Models Aren't Real. I was a small YouTuber. I still am a small YouTuber. But at the time, I had 13,000 subscribers and the video hit a million views in around a week, I believe. And I gained like 17,000 more subscribers. Ever since that happened, I've always been very curious as to sort of how everyone else feels when they have a video hit like a million views and go viral. At the time, I was averaging 1,000 views a video. So to go from averaging 1,000 views to hitting a million views in a week was insane. I was inspired to film this video because one of my favorite YouTubers, Nicole Raffi, made a video called what it's like for a video to hit a million views. And I feel like no one ever talks about what it's actually like, like the actual reality of one of your videos hitting a million views. And I resonated with the video so much. So everyone go check out her channel and that video, it was a really good video. And also I'm gonna say the exact same thing that Nicole said in her video is that when I'm talking about my personal experience of what it was like for one of my videos to go viral, I don't want to come across as ungrateful in any way. I'm so glad it happened and and I'm so grateful that it happened because I know a lot of people are just like sort of striving for the uh, YouTube algorithms just bless them and the YouTube algorithm did bless me and it was great but there were a lot of cons and going viral is just a very weird experience. I do believe that I wouldn't be in the same position as I am today if it wasn't for that video going viral but I do just want to sort of talk more about like the complexities of going viral. So now the Google definition of viral is an image, a video, piece of information etc that is circulated over the internet rapidly from one internet user to another and just to mix it up a little bit the very trusted urban dictionary <laughs> definition. I cannot film a video without putting an urban dictionary definition in there because urban dictionary actually does make some points. The urban dictionary definition is a website or video that has become instantly famous overnight via YouTube or other popular media. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, Jordan, a million views is not viral. Uh, viral needs to be a hundred million views. Viral needs to be covered by the news. And in my personal opinion, something going viral, it really depends on the speed that it builds the views and also the view to follower ratio. So for someone like Shane Dawson, hitting a million views is not viral to him at all because he has millions of views every single day and has millions of subscribers. But for someone like me who had 30,000 subscribers would average a thousand views a video to suddenly hit a million views in just a week after making YouTube videos for six years that's viral that is viral to them do you know what i mean because it is just such a large amount of attention to receive in such a short period of time and on top of that it's probably the first time you've ever experienced it and i also think that people forget is that you can go viral for good and you can also go viral for bad and virality is that even a word it means a lot of different things to a lot of people for an internet personality such as a youtuber going viral is the dream people dream of hitting a million views on a video but for someone who's just a regular schmegular person like doesn't you know use the internet all that much or just uses the internet casually going viral can be their worst nightmare and just before i do get into this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i am uploading twice a week sunday and wednesdays because i'm on lockdown now 
I've got to keep us all entertained here. And also I don't forget to follow my Instagram because I'm really active on there. And when I'm not, you know, planning, editing, filming videos, I'm usually on there because I'm bored out of my fucking mind. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the benefits of going viral when you're an internet personality. And when you go viral for, you know, a good, video. So the most obvious thing is exposure and subscriber growth. I think that's probably the best thing to come out of my video hitting a million views. I gained 15,000 subscribers in just a week I think. So a lot of YouTubers' main goal is to become a full-time YouTuber so your audience growing a lot does make that a lot more possible and then the next thing is money depending on what your cpm is you can make a pretty decent chunk of money from a video going viral or hitting over a million views fun fact i did not make a single penny from my instagram models video it was just because my channel was not eligible for monetization at the time and then when it did become eligible after the video hit a million views it had to have like a week of review so basically i didn't make a single penny from that video which is gutting but also you can make money in indirect ways because a lot of brands will start reaching out to you you may get pr you may get sponsorship offers again that money adds to youtube possibly becoming your full-time job and also you get lots of comments i mean i know this is a bit random and there are a lot of cons to this which i obviously am gonna elaborate on later in the video getting lots of positive comments about you about your video it is very very validating especially when you don't receive that many comments then suddenly you receive thousands and this one which I think everyone sort of feels when a video goes viral when they've been working really hard is you have that like finally moment like you feel like all of your hard work has finally paid off and there are so many other perks like for example if your video was trying to spread a positive message spreading that message far and wide and then there's also that possibility of mainstream media covering your video therefore the video gets more views and you gain even more followers and the video goes even more viral let's talk about the cons i know people are going to tell me that i am ungrateful but there are cons to videos going viral and this is what i want to mainly talk about because when a video goes viral Viral, it's just you just feel really weird so the first and the most obvious one is hate luckily a lot of youtubers do have very thick skin I have very thick skin but the amount of people that were telling me that I needed to go and get my teeth fixed it was just very frustrating to have to hear every single day that I should go and get my teeth fixed. Why don't people in the UK have braces, like stuff like that. And it's like, I don't give a fuck. And this is something which took me a very long time to figure out. No matter what, no matter how perfect your video is, no matter how non-offensive your video is, if it hits over a million views, someone's gonna have a problem what really like took me aback was the critical comments and people just taking stuff too literally this is something which i found out on the internet and an example of this is i said in that instagram models video i said something along the lines of oh we're all guilty of using facetune and then i also said something like oh but everyone has filler nowadays any normal person would be like oh just off off the hand comments like just it was just a passing comment but obviously the video went viral which was not what i expected you start to get really really frustrated when you hear it over and over and over again and i don't want this to come across as like me being a bitch like i feel like i'm coming across as a major bitch right now but when you're literally receiving hundreds of comments of people like nitpicking at your video it is very like frustrating and obviously hate comments can be extremely damaging to your mental health one of my youtube best friends Gemma, literally sent me a message saying she was like over like thousands of people called me ugly wouldn't recommend it and bear in mind Gemma's video she had a sort of makeup tutorial go viral she was only I believe 13 or 14 so imagine being 13 or 14 years old and having to hear hundreds of people call you ugly and I know that the sort of critical comments on my viral video were only like a select few but when you read it it's 
feels so disheartening because even though it is only a small amount of people doing it you do feel like your video is being picked apart and you start to get a little bit defensive i actually got a dm from a subscriber who has a youtube channel and she said that her gcc results went viral and how she said that everyone was really like calling her a brat in the video saying that like she spoke to her mum really badly like just people being super super hypercritical of just a video do you know what i mean and then the next thing is pressure i cannot begin to describe the absolute pressure that i felt after that video went viral picture this you have a couple thousand subscribers on your youtube channel you have a very small audience it's very intimate and then suddenly one of your videos hits a million views and you gain 15,000 new subscribers i cannot describe how daunting that is because you literally are sat there like I have 15,000 new people to impress. Like, this is insane. And let's say, for example, your next video gets a few thousand views, which is completely normal. You can't help but feel really disheartened. In the end, your goal is to try and top that viral video. And my friend George, he messaged me and told me that, like, you have that huge pressure of, like, oh my god, what if my YouTube channel dies? What if I'm just a one-hit wonder? And it was also related to, sort of, the pressure is that it took me a very very long time to figure out that YouTube is not a linear journey. It is constantly up and down and subscriber growth and views definitely comes in waves. I think that when your video goes viral and you gain 15,000 subscribers in a week, when it does start to slow down, which is inevitable, it will happen, no matter how many videos you pump out, you really start to panic because you're like, oh fuck, like this is it, I've, I've blown it. And then Nicole spoke about this in her video, but there is that really weird feeling and it's almost like you feel so guilty for feeling like this, but you get that that feeling of you kind of just want it to stop it becomes so overwhelming whenever you look at your phone there are hundreds of new comments to read you've got thousands more subscribers the views are just going up and up and up and it's getting quicker and quicker and quicker and you just look at your phone and you feel exhausted i feel like the human brain does not have the capacity to take in so many people talking about you like to have thousands of comments to read through and yes that video has over 4,000 comments and I've probably read nearly all of them I mean I don't know about anyone else but a lot of youtubers when they do upload those videos that end up going viral you never actually expect it to go viral you never expect it to go viral also reading the comments section gets really really addictive and I feel like this is actually a really bad thing because when you read positive comments it's very validating and my friend Karis was telling me that it releases like endorphins in your brain and it makes you feel really good so you just keep reading through and through the comments and like I said I've probably read nearly all 4,000 comments on that video basically my friend Karis painted a singer that she really liked when she was like 14 or 15 he reposted it and because he reposted it and he had millions of followers there was literally thousands of comments for her to read through and she told me how reading through the comments became so addictive because it just made her feel feel good she ended up only painting to hope that a artist would repost it and she could sort of recreate that experience of being able to read through all of the positive comments do you know what I mean and that's what sort of ends up happening with a lot of youtubers is they start creating content to try and recreate that viral success and it is genuinely just like luck of the draw like youtube algorithm is crazy and no one can ever keep up with it to try and sort of recreate that viral video again is next to nearly impossible <laughs> you can sort of end up taking your channel in a bit of a different direction that you didn't necessarily expect it to your sort of intentions become a little bit skewed and you end up sort of very unhappy and very lost with your channel because you don't know what to do and now let's talk about becoming viral for a bad reason slash infamy i think what we're seeing a lot more of nowadays is people doing stupid shit online or just doing bad stuff saying purposely bad things basically trolling people to try and gain infamy and what a lot of people don't realize is becoming infamous is 
so much easier than just becoming famous. And don't get me wrong, this isn't a new development at all. This has been going on for years. My first memory of someone becoming completely infamous was the tampon girl. Oh my God. I can, I can see it in my, it's never left my head. And sort of the most recent sort of famous trolling was either Trisha Paytas coming out as trans or a lot of people licking the ice cream tops and putting them back in the fridge in the stores. And then there's also people being exploited to become infamous. So if someone like Lil Tay, does anyone remember Lil Tay? She was like 10, right? And she was trying to become like the world's youngest flexer and she would always be in these designer cars in these huge houses. She'd get literally thousands of comments of hate every single day. And it turned out that her brother and her mum were making her do this basically just exploiting her for the attention and obviously she did make decent money out of it but obviously I felt so sorry for that poor little girl who got exploited by her family the people who were meant to care about her the most it pisses me off because I mean I know this will surprise a lot of people and it did sort of baffle my mind for a second but a lot of people do not care how they gain fame online they just want to be internet famous I personally have no idea I would not be able to deal with getting thousands of critical comments every single day but they just don't care because they end up making loads of fucking money and now you guys are probably thinking how is someone who's infamous gonna make loads of money just look at Trisha Paytas her career is thriving she's constantly trolling people and she just doesn't care and people are always talking about her and Trisha Paytas is the most well-known troll on the internet people know that she says stupid offensive shit to gain infamy, to gain attention because it brings her views up, brings her money up, brings her follow account up. And all of us know what game they're playing. We all know they're doing it on purpose, yet we can't help but call them out because they are doing stupid shit. But in turn, we're giving them the attention that they want. And I am being a massive hypocrite in this video right now because I'm talking about her, giving her the attention, which is just, infamy is weird. Infamous internet trolls are weird because you can't help but talk about them. People will tweet stuff like, don't give Trisha Paytas attention, that's exactly what she wants, and it will get thousands of retweets giving her more attention. And then there's going viral when it wasn't your intention at all. A great example of this is Rebecca Black. We all remember Rebecca Black, a huge part of our childhood. If you guys do want to see a full video about Rebecca Black, would highly recommend Sarah Z's video. She did a great video about Rebecca Black and the exploitative production company behind the song Friday. It's a crazy journey so I highly recommend watching that video. It is so so good. And most of the time when someone goes viral when they didn't intend to go viral, a lot of the time it is just sort of harmless cringe content. So just a very brief summary of almost the story of Rebecca Black and sort of what happened. The music video and the song Friday was actually produced by a company who sort of did like these fun days for kids and tweens. They would, you know, sing a song and then make a music video and then it would get posted onto YouTube. They would never gain that many views, but for some reason, because Friday was so bad, it went viral and I think it became one of the most disliked videos on YouTube. And a lot of people thought that this song represented the death of the music industry and how Rebecca Black was literally Satan incarnate. At the end of the day, she was only 13 and she was a 13 year old girl that just wanted to have like a music video fun day with her friends and it ended up going fucking viral and she did actually open up about it on Twitter, about what it was like to grow up being Rebecca Black, the girl that sung that really annoying Friday song. I felt so sorry for her because genuinely this like tainted her life. Like it truly fucked up her life for quite a long time. And I know this video wasn't the most in-depth, but I do just find going viral to be so interesting. I have very mixed feelings about it because I do feel like the human brain does not have the capacity to take in going viral. But one thing which all of my YouTuber friends who messaged me and told me about it was that the YouTube growth that they received from going viral totally outweighed any cons they received. But yeah, no, that's this video done. I'm not sure whether I'm very happy with it now that I've finished filming it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, uploading twice a week, lockdown tings. I'll see you guys on Sunday for a new video. Goodbye.